Today I am going to do a comfort meal and um, it's a little bit dreary outside and cold and rainy so this will be the perfect meal for a cold rainy day and um, also I'm getting my black eyed peas in there um, I don't have any um, hog gel but we will make it work right so I'm going to be making fried potatoes um, Kielbasa with sauerkraut. Um, my kids love over the shells and cheese, so I'm going to be doing that. And then some black eyed peas. I actually picked up this um, kielbasa at Aldi along with um, sauerkraut. And then I just peeled a few potatoes and then we're just going to get them cut up and put in the pan. I actually like to save my baking grease and put it in with my fried potatoes and then I'm going to do some salt and then pepper and then I will take, if I can find it, some minced onion. And I always like to do my fried potatoes in my electric skillet. I feel like that's how I can cook them the best. So I'll put some minced onion in there. And then I'll just stir that around. Now I have the heat in between 200 and 250 and I will just leave it open for a little bit and then I will put the lid on it. So when I do uh, cut up the kielbasa, which you can use any kind of sausage that you wanted. I just happen to like um, the kielbasa better. When you cut it, I always cut the ends off and <laughs> I used to throw them away but now I feed them to my puppy but I always like to try to do it thinly because I feel like they cook they cook better if you get in there and don't make them too big so about like that then I will get this cut up and we will add it to the pan once I get the kielbasa all um, cut up, I put it in the pan with a little bit of salt and then I have my baking grease in there and then I will actually need to turn this up on a medium heat. And then I'm going to take my black eyed peas and pour them in this um, pan to get them going. I will cook them. I did not drain them. I will cook them for... A little bit on high and then I will let them simmer on low with the lid on for, for just a little bit okay so once I get it um, have some color on it and get it a little brown I will drain the sauerkraut and then I will just put it in there and mix it all around 